The creator is a movie star and Denzel Jr. about the upcoming war between AI and humanity. Ten years ago today, the artificial intelligence created to protect us detonated a nuclear warhead in Los Angeles. And since there's been a lot of talk about AI lately, this movie actually makes me wonder, who is the true creator of artificial intelligence? And after a quick search, I realized that none of the usual names made any sense because they were all long gone years ago. So this one question led me down a rabbit hole far deeper than I ever would have imagined, where I spent weeks researching books, videos, and articles to uncover the truth about who the real creator of AI is, and why he worked so hard to stay hidden. So, in this video, I'm about to put you on the real-life identity of the creator of artificial intelligence. And believe it or not, it all starts with the creation of CNN. I told you. CNN is fake news. Don't talk to me. Go ahead, please. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that CNN. You know what? Take a look at this. This is the visual representation of something called a convolutional neural network or CNN. And it is by far the most important algorithm in all of artificial intelligence because it takes something like this, something you and I can easily recognize as a house and allows a computer to do the exact same thing, just better. So. Whenever you unlock your phone, search Google Images, tag a friend in a photo, or use a new filter on IG, you can thank the Convolutional Neural Network for that. So, early into my extensive research, I thought, well, who created the Convolutional Neural Network? Because they have to be the real creator of artificial intelligence, right? And that's when I found the guy. One of the leading voices in the field of AI, Dr. Jeffrey Hinton. Jeffrey Hinton. Jeffrey Hinton. Jeffrey Hinton. Jeffrey Hinton is a University of Toronto professor emeritus. He's often referred to as the godfather, godfather, godfather of artificial intelligence. So it turns out that the CNN pioneered by Jeff Hinton is the most important algorithm in the history of artificial intelligence. And I'll get to exactly why that is a little later in the video. But I found the creator, or at least I thought I did. That is until I found this video that was buried deep inside a sea of content that blew my entire discovery out the water in seconds. Take a look. Everything we've been talking about today, I don't think it's an exaggeration to say, or just about everything, can be traced back to Jeff's work. He didn't invent neural nets. He didn't invent neural nets. He didn't invent neural nets. Pause here. Did you catch it? Because Jeff Hinton isn't the creator of the neural network, which means he can't be the creator, right? So that's why they call him the godfather of AI and not the father of AI. So wait, who is the father of AI? I am the architect. I created the matrix. I've been waiting for you. Nah, not this guy. We need the real life version of him. But the only way to find the creator is to find the exact moment of creation. So what I needed to find was the Big Bang of modern AI. The Big Bang of AI. In other words, I needed to find the exact moment that the convolutional neural network that Jeffrey Hinton created became a reality. And that's when I stumbled across this brilliant woman named Dr. Fei Fei Li. For 15 years now, I've been working to teach computers to see. And the easiest way I can explain who she is is like this. If Jeffrey Hinton is the godfather of AI, if I am the father of the Matrix, then she's definitely the mother of AI. She would undoubtedly be its mother. Now, why is that? Well, take a look at this. This is the visual representation of a data set of over 20 million images that Dr. Fei Fei Li put together for a competition called ImageNet in 2007. And the purpose of ImageNet was to challenge all of the world's best computer scientists to see whose algorithms could identify what the images were with the highest amount of accuracy. We were thrilled to have put together ImageNet, and we wanted the whole research world to benefit from it. So in a TED fashion, we opened up the entire data set for free. And for years, ImageNet was a big fat nothing. Because every year, super smart computer nerds would enter their algorithms into the competition only to win and nobody would care. And it was mainly because everyone that entered into the competition was using standard computers powered by CPUs to do the analysis of the data. That is until this guy came into the picture. This is Ilya Sutskaper, a gamer, former Bitcoin miner, and in 2011, he was a student at the University of Toronto, to which he turned in a paper in one of his classes where he talks about the power of NVIDIA's GPUs and how they could be used to unlock large computations if configured correctly. Now I'll give you one guess on who was the professor that read the paper. 
That's right, the godfather of AI himself is put onto the computational power of NVIDIA's GPUs and how they could be used to power his CNN algorithms on very large data sets like those at ImageNet. But there's only one problem. You see, this is all just theory, but not to Dr. Fei Fei Li, because she believed that humanity now had all of the necessary ingredients to give birth to AI. And she said that the Big Bang of AI, what made it possible were three fundamental ingredients. The first ingredient being the creation of CNN. See, I told you, CNN is fake news. Don't talk to me. Go ahead, please. I mean the creation of the convolutional neural network. And the second ingredient being our newfound love for photos. The second is the availability of an enormous amount of data. In hindsight, this idea of using big data to train computer algorithms may seem obvious now, but back in 2007, it was not so obvious. And that third thing, well, I'll let them explain it. And third is the discovery of using GPUs to accelerate deep learning. You need the, the data, you needed the compute, which showed up in terms of GPUs, and you needed the conviction to realize that you need to mix them together. So you mix all of these ingredients into a pot. You get the perfect recipe for an architect to come in and create artificial intelligence. So boom, insert this guy. I am the architect. I created the matrix. This is Alice Kravetsky, and he's the true creator of artificial intelligence. Now, why is that? Well, for starters, he was the PhD student that studied directly underneath Jeffrey Hinton at the University of Toronto. He's also close friends to Ilya Sutskever, you know, the engineering mind behind ChatGPT. But most importantly, he's the chief architect of AlexNet, the game-changing algorithm that's known for creating the Big Bang of AI. And then at some point, Alex Krzyzewski wrote these insanely fast CUDA kernels for training convolutional neural nets, and that was BAM. Let's do this. Let's get ImageNet and it's going to be the greatest thing. Which means that Alice Kravetsky is literally the first person to execute on all three ingredients needed to bring AI into existence. But wait, I know what you're thinking. How can one man be the sole creator of AI? Well, think about it like this. Since the dawn of time, all knowledge have existed on a tree. And every new discovery is just compounding on the discoveries before it. For example, Alan Turing needed Einstein and Newton in order to create the computer. And Jeffrey Hinton, Dr. Fei Fei Li, NVIDIA and Ilya Sutskever all needed Alan Turing in order to create their discoveries. So it shouldn't be a surprise that Alex Kravetsky needed all of them to create artificial intelligence. So the only question left is, where's Alex now? Surely he's a billionaire somewhere, right? Well, not exactly. You see, Alex has been purposefully falling off the grid for years now. Because after AlexNet won ImageNet in 2012, Google quickly bought his startup. But just a few years later, he quit Google, announcing that he simply lost interest in his work. And today, Alex has chosen a life out of the spotlight. So you won't see him giving any long-form interviews on the Lex Friedman podcast, or even running his own YouTube channel like his other friends about the two. Nah. That's not Alex. Instead, he's preferred to fade into oblivion, letting his name get lost to history, just like the creators of AI do in most of your favorite sci-fi movies. That is, unless an obscure YouTube channel changes his fate and decides to put the world on who the true creator of artificial intelligence is. Yeah.